What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. It's time to check in on an old friend here in the world of indie games. Today we're checking on Parkasaurus, a game where you're going to go and create your own Jurassic Park. Now, this game was recently updated, and so they added in workshop support, so now you can actually like mod the game and use buildings that other players have designed. And honestly, it's been about a year since we checked this game out anyway, so I'm sure there's going to be other additions along the way. The game is in early access, as you can tell by the giant orange banner down here at the bottom of the screen. So I think it's worthwhile as an indie content creator impressions guy to go back through and reappraise the games that we played in the past when they first released in early access and just see exactly what's changed. Now, unfortunately, my memory of this one is a little bit shallow. I don't remember this game super well. We'll play on standard. Sounds good to me. Now, we'll go with a new game right here, and let's see if we can get some lovely baby dinosaurs growing up inside their eggies. So we've got a dinosaur inside of a rocket ship. They have apparently crashed and now must don their space helmets. But then they found out they don't need their space helmets. And that's the story of dinosaurs on Earth. What is the name of your park? Ballersaurus Flex. No, it doesn't fit. Damn it. Um, fine then. We'll call it Dinos with Guns. Done. Commander Ollie here. It's nice to meet you, human. Welcome to your first dinosaur park. I would be looking to ways we can enhance the well-being of our dinosaur friends. This looks like a big empty area to set up a dinosaur park. There's quite a lot of garbage around, but every great dinosaur park has to start somewhere. I'm gonna understand we're probably like the first dinosaur park. There are other dinosaur parks that we can compare to? Dude, we're late to the game. It's too late. We gotta find something else to build our park around. Early adopters are the ones that take all the money and prizes, man. But first things first, navigating around the park is easy and important. Let's give it a try. Alright, so we're gonna pan the camera around. We're gonna like zoom in, zoom out. Apparently I did it 35 out of 6 times. Alright! And then we can rotate the camera like so. There we go, perfect. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's dinosaur it up. Science Officer Luca reporting. It's almost time to meet your first dinosaur. I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in this atmosphere. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Commander Ollie said we should set up an exhibit first. Exhibits are where your dinos live. You design exhibits to match your dinos' needs and increase dino happiness. For now, let's create a simple exhibit for the first dino. Select the wood fence to build an exhibit. Eh, yeah, we can do that. Where's my UI at? I needs my UI. So we've got our fences over here. There's our wooden fence right there. It wants me to go all the way down to that side. All the way down to there. And then we'll square that away. Yep, pretty standard city builder stuff. There we go. And so there's our 644 square foot exhibit. That actually is not as large as it sounds. Like, unless it was, like, if it was meters, maybe it's a little bit larger. But I didn't know if it said foot or not. So we've got gates right now that we got to drop up in here. We'll put one right there. Looks good to me. The exhibit is concluded. What does that say? Pax here, I piloted and crashed the ship into your planet. Your money's very shiny. We should really be collecting as much of it as possible. I invented a way to collect these coins in bins called donation boxes. Okay, so we can actually put in a donation box right here, which is how we get paid. So we can drop that and kind of, I don't know which way is facing forward, but you know what? Screw it. We'll just, like, put it right there, and maybe it'll turn out okay. Let's get you a first dinosaur. So we can have a Stegosaurus, or we can have a Triceratops. Stegosaurus, I'm gonna have to go with. It's one of my favorite dinosaurs. Like, there's just no contest. I need some Stegosaurus. Alright, so Stegosaurus is an herbivore from the Stegosauria family. You don't say. Alright, so we're gonna take this egg. We're gonna put it inside the exhibit. Bam, bam, bam. Town is a great place to buy food, accessories for the dinos, or get loans. You can visit the town anytime during the day, even at the nighttime. Okay, so we can go to the shop, and then we've got veggies over here. I should probably add, like... I mean, it wants me to buy six, but, like, I wanted to buy dailies. Like, how do I buy dailies right here? So we've got a daily delivery of plants. We'll just put that on, like, eight, I guess, for right now. That seems all right. Kale them with kindness. There you go. You've got your vegan shop names. Now we need to get feeders. Okay, I'm not going to read that whole thing because I want to get moving. I want to have dinos like right now. Let's put the feeder right over here next to the dono box. 
so that people get that nice close up so they can take their pictures and then feel appreciative and then maybe they'll be more like inspired to throw their ducats at me. Caring for your dino best friends is a lot of work. Employees are great help in doing many of the tasks in the park. Veterinarians are primary caregivers for dinos. Let's hire a vet. Okay, so we can go over here and we've got our resumes. We have this vet right here, speed, ability. I'll probably go with her. She seems the most well-rounded. Let's go with her. Work ethic. You can assign tasks to your employees. All right. Well, I mean, is there anything stopping me from hiring another one? Let's hire two of them just in case. You never know how many you're going to need. The exhibit pane is a great tool to inspect the type of biome and biodiversity in your exhibit. Every dino has a particular biome that they want to live in. You can create a biome. Okay, so let's create a biome. I got to get my dino. Look at him, though. We got a little baby dino down here. His name is Homer. He's pretty adorable. I'm going to be honest with you. If I could have that running around my living room, I'd be pretty happy. I'd be fairly stoked. What does that say? So we've got appeal. There we go. So Homer is somewhat happy. And so we can place tiles in order to create a biome. We got grass tiles over here. All right. Yeah, let's put in the grass tiles. There you go. So we're all grass tiled up. And apparently we're officially forest over here. We're forested as all hell. What else does it want me to do? Oh, yeah, we need the water tool. I forgot about that. So, like... I forget exactly how this works. There's, like, kind of a trick to it, if I remember right. It wants me to morph the biome. Oh, it wants me to make it a rainforest. Gotcha. So there you go. It's officially a rainforest tile now, and we've accomplished that by balancing all of our flora and fauna and whatnot. Every biome has an ideal ratio of trees to bushes to rocks. This ratio is called the exhibit biodiversity and contributes to the dinosaur's habitat score. Trees, bushes, and rocks can only live in particular biomes. Note that trees and bushes need to be near water surfaces. Okay, that should be easy enough. We got our scenery over here. This is a good tree for rainforest and taiga. All right. Yeah, we'll put in a couple of trees over here. Good. So build bushes suitable for grass in your exhibit. All right, so they want us probably to do like rainforest and taiga, right? We've got like some bushes or whatever in here. There we go. So it wants me to do a Quincy bush. All right, I could do that. Quincy bush done. And then we need some rocks that go inside the rainforest. So we've got, what is this right here? We've got basalt. Ah, good old volcanic rock. All right, so we'll put you right there. We'll have just kind of like a little finger of rock over here. It's kind of just all over the place, and that'll be done with. I'm pretty sure this is about as happy as this animal's going to be. Time to open the park so guests can visit. You can close your park at any point. All right, cool, man. Click on the admissions booth, and then we will go like open park. There we go. Park has been opened. And we're all set. A janitor is a key member of the staff. They repair fences, pick up garbage. Okay, so I got to go to the office and I got to hire a janitor. Janitor. Dr. Janitor. Uh, we'll go with this guy right here. Maybe that guy right there. There we go. I'm sure my overhead won't be too bad. I've only hired two veterinarians and two janitors. You paid me $5 to get in? Nice, dude. Hell yeah, we're making money. All right, click on the janitor. All right, where's my janitor at? And move them to a different location? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I can do that. I don't know if that's really that important, but we can give it a go. Apparently, there is a large line of people that want to see what a stegosaurus looks like. But to be fair, if I knew, I could pick up and move these guys. Hold on. How do I pick up and move them? Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can, like, move them around like so. I didn't even realize that I could do that, so I learned a new thing today. This has been a lot of park training. Let's have guests arrive to the park and make some money. All right. Have five... Ve well, I mean, they already visited the park, though. Like, they already... Can I get, like, some retroactive winning here? That's It's nighttime. I don't think anybody's going to come into my park at nighttime. Like, I do not think that this is, like, prime money-making hours. Just between you and me. 
Oh, never mind. Apparently, there are people that want to enjoy the dinosaur nightlife. All right, they ain't got nothing better to do. They don't want to go to the club or anything else. They just want to visit some dinos. I respect that. Nothing has ever gone wrong in a dinosaur park, especially movies about dinosaur parks. Trust me. Just in case, how about we give our security some practice in case one of your dinosaur best friends decide to adventure outside the exhibit? Let's learn to tranquilize a dinosaur. All right. So how do I do that? Do I got to get like one of the trainers or something, like a handler? Oh, security. Okay, so we got Walrushi over there. Let's go ahead and hire that guy. There's our security. He's hired. We got to tranquilize a dino. It's kind of a dick move if the dino hasn't done anything. I don't feel like that's a very nice thing to do to a baby animal. Like, it's a baby animal, though. Why do we have to shoot it with a needle gun? Now I feel like an asshole. I don't feel like a good person right now. This seems like unnecessary in the overall training. This guy's walking on water. Oh my god. Our security officer is Jesus. Dude, you couldn't have got him with the first shot? You've hit him like five times now. Leave the poor little bastard alone, Belusa. Well, there you go. Apparently, we have knocked out the dino. And then we've put Homer inside the crate over here, and now we can take him and release him back inside his habitat. That seemed incredibly unnecessary, and maybe a little over the top for 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 a training exercise. Like, leave the animals alone, in my opinion. What well, do I know? Maybe it's important that we do these drills. I don't know. Let's explore the world of science. Science credits are used in the science tree to get un or to get useful upgrades. And I just prepared. I guess if they were unuseful upgrades, that wouldn't be that helpful. All right, we could do that. Uh, let's swing over to here and we can take a look at our buildings. We've got a research station. Let's go ahead and I will put the research station in right there. And so we can get scientists. So I guess I got to hire one now. We'll go back to our hiring menu. Where are my scientists at? Listen, Mr. Scientist. The end of the day is a good time to look at all the aspects. Hearts are rewarded for the end of the day for every dinosaur that is happy or super happy. Okay, did I get any lovely hearts? I got one heart. That's all that I've got right now. I have but a single heart to give. Yeah, let's go ahead and hire that guy, even though he looks a little psychotic. He looks a Look at him, though. He looks a little crazy, like... Hold on a second. Hold on, where did he go? Is this like my active personnel right here? Where do I look at my active personnel instead of resumes? My resumes. I guess it wants me to pick up and place the scientist, so I guess I'll go and do that. Oh, it's because I'm on the next day menu. Gotcha, that makes sense. I was like, how come my menus aren't changing? All right, so what I can do now is I can take this scientist and I can be like, bow, do some research. Hey, fool. Do some research. You have a job. Yeah, like, go stand there and do research so that I can have the points I need in order to generate sweet, sweet science. Sweet, sweet, beautiful science. We've got a delivery at the front gate. That should be the plant material that we ordered for our dinosaur, I believe. Yeah, so there it is right there. We've gone ahead and we've stacked up a couple of plants. Didn't even need to go into the menu or take care of anything important. Nice and easy. Taking it smooth. Yeah, dude, generate me some science right now. Do some activities or something. Come on, a little bit more science, a little bit more. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, never mind, we gotta generate one more rotation? All right, go for it. Use your giant beaker full of blood and make me more science. That's how we used to do it back in my college days. You just get a beaker full of unidentified blood and roll it around, and that's how science is done. It's true, that's how we discovered the moon. Time to expand the park with more dinosaur best friends. Use the portal to go dig up skulls and footprints that can be used in the egg store. All right, so to the portal, to the wall. We can go for a ceratopsia skull. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, I remember how this works. So basically, uh, we'll open the portal. And basically what this does... Have an expedition addition team arrive at the dig site. Exploring takes a little time, so explore the park and return later. I don't think we need to, do we? Like, I think we're probably solid to just hang out for a minute and wait for them to actually, like, do what they're supposed to do. 
I don't know. So our exploration is nearly done. Uh, there's a little grid-based game that I remember from this. Your expedition has arrived. Let's go ahead and check in. And so we can dig right here. we got to find two footprints. So basically the way that this works is you kind of click like so. And actually what I would do is I would use this guy right here to kind of find everything you possibly can and then fill in the blanks in other spots using other abilities. He's only got one left, so there we go. This person has 30 left. So I think it's actually plausible that we might be able to get the entire map, maybe. But basically, everybody uncovers a part of the grid as to that right there. So this person does a single square. This guy does like a little T-block, basically. And that's how you find dinosaur fossils. And then we take these back to the lab. And once we have them, I think we can either sell them, if I remember correctly, or we can use them to, like, genetically breed new dinosaurs, if I remember right. I don't exactly remember what they're used for, but I do remember them having a use. Apparently, all of my scientists are tired right now. We didn't get everything done, but we've earned a gem from earlier so we can buy an egg. All right, let's go to the egg store. Apparently, we just have dinosaur vendors around. What does it want me to do? Buy an egg from the eggy store. Yeah, let's go ahead and create one. Bagok, there it is. We've got our first eggy. It's a triceratops egg. Alright, lots of baby triceratops. Remember the science credits? What are they good for? Well, let me tell you. Science credits are used for technologies. Alright, we can do that right here. So we can get an uncommon gem right there if we really want to. Or we can go to horticulturist amateur. Okay. Oh, cool. The day's over. We made, apparently, $920 today. I don't know if that's going to be enough to continue growing a dinosaur park. But, that's okay. We've got horticulturist over here. Let's take that. That's what it wants me to take anyways. And so that's given us some new decorations, it looks like. We've got some potted plants and whatnot that we can put all over the park. We'll move on to the next day, since that's apparently what it really wants me to do right now. Well, I've taught you everything you need to know about being a dinosaur park manager. I'll see you later. All right. Goodbye, talking dinosaur. I'll see you later. So we need 20 guests to visit over here. Let's actually, first and foremost, take a look at the different buildings that we have. Uh, we have Sweet Tooth, which is not the guy from Twisted Metal. It's actually a place where people can get cotton candy. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll put in cotton candy right there. That seems all right. So we've got cotton candy, and then we've got dino dogs. Do we have footpaths? Yeah, let's go ahead and put in a footpath over here. We'll keep that moving out this way. And then maybe we'll have that go to right there. Maybe like that right there. Get a little bit of concrete in, make it look a little bit better on the paddock. And then we'll put in a hot dog vendor right there. Perfect, so now you can get some delicious Polish dogs, hot dogs, doesn't matter. You want it with the relish, without the relish, we got you covered in either case. I don't know if I should put the balloon vendor like next to this thing. Like, I don't know if it needs to be optimized for foot traffic in places that, like, people go. I guess I could have scooched that forward a little bit. Can I move this? Is that possible? It's just a balloon shop. Hmm. Where's my bulldozer? Yeah, we're going to rebuild that in a different spot. So I kind of want it to be, like, flush right there. All right, so we got a balloon shop. Uh, I could think of all kinds of vulgar names for a balloon shop, but I'm not going to do it because this is a family channel. And I just remembered. I just remembered that this is a family channel. You're going to buy some balloon. That's a big hot dog, dude. You're definitely getting your money's worth here. Look at the size of that hot dog. And she bought a balloon. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so as far as our dino eggs go, so this dude likes to be in the rainforest. Yeah, put him in the rainforest. That sounds good. We'll have that egg hatch over here, and these two herbivores shall live in peace with one another. They will not fight. This will not be a dinosaur battle royale. Everything is going to turn out swimmingly. All right. What do I do with these tires right here? Keep junk? I don't think I want to keep that. I think I would rather have that, like, gone. Do I bulldoze it, maybe? Yeah, there we go. We'll go ahead and get rid of it. I don't know exactly what I want to do with this little area right here, but I'm thinking that, like, what we'll do is we'll put in a path that goes down to there, and we'll fill this with supplementary stuff like bathrooms, souvenir shops, 
And then we'll have another dino pin over here, maybe. Yeah. I mean, that looks good to me. Well, there you go. We got 400 square foot exhibit right there. I don't know what we're going to put inside said exhibit, but at some point we'll probably do it. Uh, we can go look for Stegosauria or, yeah, let's go look for another Stegosaurus. Why not? Uh, let's do this thing. Open the park up. Perfect. Uh, we'll wait for that to get done in just a second. I would like to see a little progress meter, like right here, so you can actively like monitor how far into your expedition you are. But it's not that important right now. Are we making money yet? We've made $400 today. We're going to have to make more cash than that if we really want to do this thing. Oh, cool. Somebody donated $24. That's very, very generous of you. Thank you for that. If this was Twitch, we would have some kind of, like, pop-up over here that would let people know and, like, display a message with, like, text-to-speech that would be like, I really love your dinosaurs. Can we get a few more guests? I want some more guests. We've got an outhouse. Should probably do that. Now, we can put a gazebo... Like right there. And then we got garbage bins as well. We should probably have some garbage bins. Yeah, put in a garbage bin right there. And then we'll have like an outhouse or two over this way. Insufficient funds. Oh, am I really that broke? Oh, my bad. I didn't realize I spent that much money. Apparently, I'm officially poor right now. I had money. No longer. Uh, no longer. There is no longer any money inside of our social fund. Lame, dude. Lame. We do have science, though, so we can get the sous chef. That gives us the Tulum Taco Shop. It gives us the Tom's Wonton Truck. And then it also gives us a Fedora and a Hot Dog Huge. Increased time at park by 20%. When gained, we'll call friend into park if happy. Yeah, go for that. That sounds good. So we've got a perk now. Apparently our hot dogs make people happy and more likely to summon their friends to hang out with us. I can live with that. You guys enjoy your time at the park. I'm just going to sit here and wait for my $1,000 to show up. How about that? Splatty's a big fan of $1,000. $1,000, anybody? Oh, we're in the portal room. Nice. Okay, let's go for our little dig then. Put that on normal speed. We'll just kind of like walk this across like so. Hopefully we find something good. There we go. A couple of little Stegosaurus footprints. Looks nice to me. And you come down here. Perfect. I see one right there, too. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. Okay, so we'll get the Stegosaurus skull. I'm trying to play Minesweeper right now, but they're not making it easy. There is a second layer, by the way, down beneath the rest of this that you can get to if you're looking for more skulls. Uh, we made $658 today. We didn't like clean up, but we did spend a lot of money. So like financially, we should be doing better after this brief impasse. Oh, Homer broke out of the cage. Homer, how could you? Bro. Homer, I thought we were friends, man. How are you gonna break out of the exhibit? Crack open that egg right there, too. So now we got Stegosauruses. Apparently, they are very, very unhappy. Hunger, everything looks good. What's wrong with you right now? So your dinosaur is very healthy. Basic needs are on the way back up. I think the dinosaur was just salty because he got tranquilized. If I got tranquilized, I don't know if I would take it like in a Ramones way, like ba 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 like a party time type sedation, or if I'd be upset about it. We got a problem. One of the employees was messing around in the science lab and the time portal malfunctioned. It opened a portal to a future time where the world is only hot dogs. Long story short, we got a surplus of hot dogs, and we got to sell them to clear out some storage. All right, I can take that. We'll sell 15 hot dogs today. That's easy peasy. Exhibit is too small. Please add more space. Oh, really? They're not happy with the exhibit size? I mean, I can make the exhibit larger. It's just we have no money right now. And so, like... I gotta wait until we have more cash, and then I can make you guys a little bit more comfortable. While I wait for that to happen, it's only fair that I address right now the fact that the episode is kind of getting towards the end. My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games every single day on the internet, sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so you don't have to. And you can save your hard-earned dollars. 
I don't prefer to do a lot of review type commentary while playing games instead. I like to just play the game, give you some fun commentary, and let you make up your own mind from what you've seen during the hour or so that I've played the game. Thank you for stopping on in. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, don't hesitate. Go ahead and, uh, you know, hit the video with a like. It helps me out as a content creator. It helps the channel get promoted in YouTube's new wacky recommended system. I will see you all later. Take care, and it's been a blast, everybody.